Hello guys, this is Mr. Nimbus. Welcome back to my new episode of Dishonored Gameplay. Today we are gonna play Dishonored The Knife of Dunwall. It's a DLC of the main Dishonored game. And our main character is gonna be Zaus, leader of Valor. And we shall see what we are gonna do next. Uh, at the moment, I need to choose our difficulty level. We have four options. Novice, Veteran, Elite, Master Assassin. I have lot of, lots of experience of this game, but I'm not very good I'm not, I mean, I'm not perfect in this game, so my idea is that I'm gonna pick, pick the elite level, elite difficulty, I mean. It says it's a serious challenge for hardcore gamers, enemies inflict extreme damage, have keen perception, and potions are less effective. I I think we can manage this. Okay, fellas, if you haven't, oh, I mean, there's uh, on my channel there's a community post. There's a little question that you need to answer. I killed nobles before. <laughs> you could float a whale on a ship. Uh, I've worn blood up still. <laughs> Another noble steps in. They still ask for him. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she won. her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew my pay for this. Maybe I deserve to. A storm is coming that would shake apart everything I kill. Back in the void. Let's look around. Uh, there's dead Empress Jessamine Colton. I'm guessing we are gonna meet the outsider. Outsider. Okay, this explains how the teleportation system, I mean blink, how it works. And we have a different blink compared to Gorvo's blink. So it's like stop time when I use it. Next objective is to meet the outsider. Hello. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, 
and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last book, Val. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. Okay. Now we need to figure it out who is Delilah. Okay, I'm gonna read those. That's it. A captain of industry. A Bantry Rothschild is a ruthless businessman who owns a slaughterhouse and a fleet of whaling ships, including ships called Delilah. Instead, infiltrate the Rothschild slaughterhouse and find out what's behind the name. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales from Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. All right. We are back. Uh, in this game, uh, Dishonored DLC, The Knife of Outsiders, there's a new element. You can use favors. This says, as scouts, you can use your network of spies and corrupt merchants to purchase equipment and upgrades before each mission. You can also pay for special favors. These favors can have variety of e effects in the mission such as granting access to equipment catches or reveal revealing secret information all right we have 2000 coins first order of business we are gonna check out the favors we have three favors we can purchase. First is the safe code. We are gonna take that. The stolen rune. We are gonna take that as well. And the last one is silent sabotage. We are gonna take that as well. Now we have left 1600 coins. Yes, we should first purchase some Pierrot's Spiritual Remedies. These are very important during the gameplay. I, I, think, I think we can manage with the 5 out of 10 remedies. Uh, next we are gonna buy some Sleep Dust. We are gonna buy three of those as well. Next we are gonna check some upgrades for our equipment. I guess we are gonna take the risk bow range and accuracy. Now we have left 485 coins. I think is that is enough. Okay. We are gonna start the mission. Mission clues. Okay. 
as a result of your gripe the alarm system has been disabled and there will be no alert if you begin turning on pressure well valve in a refinery area. I'm gonna say hello to the Billy Lur. Down. Hello. You're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant. And it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure, but you don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. <coughs> One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Okay, we are gonna read the mission clues. Workers in a Rothwald slaughterhouse have rebelled against their boss and refuse to work until their conditions are improved. Except for the butchers who remain on the job. Next, we are gonna check out these new powers we can upgrade and use. Uh, we have a void case, we can use it to locate bone charms and runes. Well, you, you know how blink works already. I showed it, showed it th that to you before. We have a summon, a summon assassin, so we can use my whaler gang for my aid. Okay, bend time, you can stop the time, use it that to your advantage. And we have also vitality. I, it means I can increase my health. I have slaughter sin slaughter sinking. I'm a, I can use it for my advantage on combat. Agility. It helps on doing some parkour stuff and also helps that we that I don't need to use my mana that much next we have shadow kill so we can if i kill somebody my enemies are gonna turn into ash and arcane bond it's like this uh, well it explains down there uh, share your powers with your assassin allies at level 1, assass assassins will benefit from bl blink and vitality. This means they can teleport and get an increase in health. At level 2, assassins benefit from pull, bend time and shadow kill. With pull, assassins will pull enemies during combat when your bend time power is active. Assassins move at normal speed with shadow kill enemies will turn to ash instead of leaving a body okay i have seen that some people use this summon assassin uh, some pe some people won't use this first rune at all but i'm gonna buy agility because I think it's gonna help my gameplay. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop this episode here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, check out my community post on my YouTube channel. 
there is this uh, I have put this uh, thing where you can answer of are we gonna continue this gameplay with high chaos mo mode where I kill every enemy that I encounter or the low chaos mode where I don't kill enemies and I put them to sleep you decide okay no further ado uh, we are gonna see you guys in the next episode goodbye <laughs> Dragon, where, why will we do?